Hey, check this out. <laughs> Do you see me smiling? Wow, Sam, you have such a broad smile. And what is that on Durr, your- Grr, now I'm a grumpy slime. I bitey, grr. But don't worry, Miss Susan. I don't bite such cute ladies. Oh, stop, I'm flattered. Totally slaps, right? <laughs> Multifaceted, Sam. Honestly, it's too much. You're adorable the way you are. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, you've sparked an idea. It's for a new multifaceted craft. Uh, why didn't I draw a surprise face? Anyway, you should tell me what you're up to. Hi, guys. Today, we're going to make a really cute craft. And this is all we need. And I'm the main ingredient. <laughs> I'll cheer you up through the screen. Get ready to sew a lot. Check this out. Our character will have eight legs. Let's cut everything out. Legs? I thought it was a flower. Are we making an octopus? Yep, and it's double-sided. You'll be able to switch his appearances by turning him inside out. But for now, be careful with the scissors. Guys, did you hear that? Seems like we've invented a new species. Sammy, keep daydreaming while helping me. Ah, slimes are natural crafters. Okay, let's cut a bit. And the pattern is ready. Now let's pick the color for the front side. Hmm, let's take this one. Oh, I can imagine a cute smiley face on this plush fabric. Hey Susie, since we're making a double-sided octopus, shouldn't we work with both of the fabrics at the same time? You're right. In that case, let's make our toy a bit grumpy on the green side. We'll put the pattern on the top and start tracing it. I'll help press it to the fabric. Keep going! Sammy, move aside. Guys, make crafts with your friends. It's so exciting. Here we go. Now we'll remove this and pin the two fabrics together carefully, like this. Look out for your fingers, guys. And here comes one last pin. And this is what we've got. Easy peasy, just be careful and don't get poked. Now let's sew the fabric pieces together. You can sew it manually. Or use a sewing machine. It's time to make some stitches. Thank you. Guys, you can ask an adult to help you with the threading. Now we'll place our piece of fabric under the needle and push the presser foot down. Now we can start making stitches following our pattern. This way, very carefully. Don't rush and try to make everything neat. Watch your fingers, guys. If you're not confident, you can always ask for help. And this is what you should get. But wait, we have to make one more thing. We'll fold the fabric in half and cut out the middle part. Now I'm gonna prepare the headpiece. The steps are the same. There we go. And this step is done. Holy cannoli, this plush is so fluffy and soft. I'm in heaven. Yeah, and it's warm too. Ah, what bliss. Ah. Guys, we're going to cut off this part here as well. But don't cut the thread itself. Just work along the stitch line. Susie, are you done yet? Our is getting impatient. <laughs> Just one last cut. <laughs> Slimes are so naughty these days. <laughs> head is much trickier than I thought. Guys, here we have four green and four purple fabric pieces to make the head. Let's take two green pieces this time and overlay them this way. This time, we'll only sew one side. Now, you see? What about the other pieces? Will our octopus have two pairs of heads? <laughs> no, it's just a big-headed creature. His head consists of four sections. We'll place the third piece this way and make a few stitches on the inside. Sounds pretty easy. Let's do it. Okay, I got all the steps. I'll do the rest myself. Here you go. Wait, Mr. Slime. It's not as simple as you might think. This time, we'll place it on the left side to make this piece symmetrical. 
Whoosh. Hey, what do you have there, Sue? Where is our cute octopus? Hey, I'm not an octopus for sure. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're making one right now. Just the last step is left, and the head will be ready. We now need to sew all of this up. A few more stitches, and we'll see the result. There we go, guys. Looks a bit strange. But we'll flip the sides, and here's a cute octopus head that we've made. Am I not cute, too? It's always the green one. Grumpy purple, is that you? Oh, no, it's grumpy pink. Guys, check this out. We have one green head and one purple head. And double-sided legs for the octopus, too. What should we do now? We'll start sewing them together. Let's do it by hand this time. But first, we'll do this. Here it comes. Guys, be patient and don't rush at this stage. Otherwise, you might poke yourselves. Insert the needle, then pull and repeat. Stand still, Sammy. No thanks! Ugh. You better sew the other head. You're right, but we should leave an unsewed space. Because when we're finished, our little octopus will still be inside out. Drop the sun to the rescue! Hey you, come out from there! <laughs> I think it needs some help. Let's pull him right side out. And the first head appeared. Oh, and here's the second one. Push! I already see six legs! And one more! Woohoo! Congratulations! <laughs> we have twins here. But we haven't finished our craft yet. We need to stuff it up. Guys, stay tuned to see that. Holy cannoli, it's snowing. But it looks weird, though. Because it's the stuffing for our octopus. It won't be floppy anymore. Wow! Hey, it's flying away! Catch it, Sue! Oops! And now let's stuff our plush toy up. We'll put the pieces of fiber inside filling up just one head and all the legs. The second head stays untouched. That's because we'll flip sides, remember? Don't forget to sew up that opening after the toy is stuffed. Okay, let's see how it works. We'll squeeze one head inside. Ta-da! Well, hello! Guys, shower this purple one in your thumbs up! Don't forget to spoil this grumpy octopus, too. He's as cute as his happy buddy. It's hard to tell which one is which. Let's add face features. Sure. Let's start with the gloomy one. All we need to do is glue these grumpy eyes on. Even his mouth is unhappy. Check it out. And here's a tiny tip for our crafters. Draw white highlights on the eyes to make them look more lively. I bet you want to see his other face too. Boom! I have the same face when I eat sweet. Would you like some ice cream? I'm sure it's so yummy. Susie, I think you've forgotten what ice cream looks like. No, I didn't. It's just not ready yet. We'll make it a little bit melted. Ooh, sounds like a nightmare to me. The last cut, and the ice cream puddle is ready. Let's make an ice cream ball, too. I've already made a pattern for it. Here you go, Sue. That's an awesome idea. Let's use white felt for it. We'll attach it using a piece of scotch tape. Now we'll carefully cut the shape out, like this. Guys, it looks like a flower with petals. So pretty. We'll rip the tape off and take a needle. We need to string on all the petals like this. In the end, you get such a tiny ball. Cute, right? And the last step is to secure all the petals with a few neat stitches. <laughs> Hurry up, Susan. The ice cream is melting. Whoa. Everything is ready. Now let's put all the pieces together. We'll apply some hot glue on the ice cream puddle and put it on top of our octopus's head. Splat! Press down on each side to secure it. There is no ice cream without colorful sprinkles. We'll use acrylic paint to draw them. I really like how it turned out. By the way, the grumpy octopus will get some ice cream too. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned to see the final result.
All right, I'm back. Say slime! Hey, why are you grumpy all of a sudden? Put that triple face back on. Hey, Sammy, did you like my trick? <laughs> it was you? Oh, Susie. Guys, give us a thumbs up if you liked our cute plush octopus. I mean, both of them. Yeah, and also subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye-bye.